Back live in La Capital of Guatemala, Guatemala City. Gary, we're back with Gustavo. I hope you had a good repast, Gustavo and Jose. We're here, the eighth match of the day, the seventh feed. And we're pretty much on time because this was a four o'clock scheduled match, Gustavo. And if you add the additional 15 minutes, the team Argentina got to warm up here. We're, uh, we're doing real well. Mountain Standard Time. We're here in Guatemala City, Guatemala. 4 p.m. here, 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time in the States. Good to be here, Gary, our last of the day, as you said. Double, dobles mixtos, mixed doubles, which was added two years ago. Wonderful, wonderful discipline. And speaking of wonderful, we got two fantastic teams here. You're watching Team Canada, uh, Iwasa on the left here, the young man. His partner, Berrand, on the right, warming up against Team Argentina. Yelson Miranda play left side, and young lady on the right will be Natalia Mendez. What's your pick here? I'm gonna have to go with the Argentinians on this one. Okay. Not to take anything away from the Canadians, but I think the stronger of the women players is definitely Natalia Mendes on the right side. Well, on the left side, it, uh, I think the experience Kobe has speaks for itself. Uh, Gerson, as you mentioned earlier, he's just an all around uh, player. He's he gonna handle speed, touch, you name it. So being the He's done. We're ready. Maria Paz Munoz asking us if we're ready to go. The answer is yes. So being the equitable equitable people we are under the IRF banner, Gustavo, I'll pick Canada and our compatriot our compatriot over here, Jose, has no opinion. <laughs> Neutral. <laughs> Neutral. Neutral. We're what about we to have? start. Maria Paz Munoz from Cuenca in Ecuador. She's our head official. No appeals until the quarterfinals, so her call stands. And uh, Argentina's coached by Carlos Quadri, longtime Argentinian coach. Canada, a duo, Evan Prichard and Reno Lavendia. <laughs> Reno does have a last name, Gustavo. Well said, Gary. <laughs> Glad you had that clarified with Mr. Reno. It's good to see them again. They're looking good. The team's solid. I like that. A shout out to uh, Mr. Michel, Michel Gagnon, Gagnon, who is more than likely watching. We miss you down here, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you again this uh, summer. Yeah, we'll be in uh, San Antonio. In, in the States, first time since 1996 when we had uh, the tournament in Phoenix, literally downtown Phoenix. And we'll have it again, 2024, the Worlds. I remember that uh, tournament in 96. I think it was only like 112 degrees out when we were. Uh, yeah, that's kind of moderate for Phoenix that you, time of year. But you couldn't be outside. No, it was and, too hot. And, and you had a layer because going inside, you freeze with the air conditioning. <laughs> and you also beat our production manager, Pablo Farhe. He was playing for Chile, and you were playing for Uruguay. And I'll never let him forget that. No, he, of course He's not. trying to. But he says I'm older than he is. I don't know how we were playing in the same yeah. age group then. You weren't. We weren't. It was an open play. Oh, okay. But I do believe uh, yeah. we're about the yeah. same age. Absolutely, and we're not gonna we're not gonna question divulge your that. We're not gonna question your memory, my friend, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to take the photo here, Maria Paz, going over protocol. Maria Paz herself, a great player, Gary. She. Um, She's actually, uh, they have, she has two courts at her house now, and she's wow. teaching and, and bringing up the juniors there in Cuenca. She was telling me about that this morning at breakfast. That's great. She prefers to teach than play. Good for and, her. And we that's need, great. We need more 
Maria passes. Yes, we do. So Kobe, soon to be a professional chiropractor, right now resides in uh, Ontario. It's where the only chiropractic tool uh, in Canada is. And his partner, Juliet, is from French Canada, the Montreal area. Mendez, playing for Argentina, hails from Santa Cruz de la Sierra in Bolivia. And uh, he hails from Cochabamba, is that correct? That is correct. Juliet is 22 years old. She's been playing for 12 years, though, and she lost her national singles final to Frédéric Lambert. Lambert. She's at the University of Quebec, Juliet. Yeah. So the photos, photo shoot, Alberto Sanchez, one of our administrators, living in Buenos Aires. He's from Venezuela. And Evan Prichard lives in Winnipeg, Canada. Here we go. Best of five sets, 11 points, rally scoring. Win by two. One timeout, 60 seconds in length each set. Two minute break between sets. And no appeals. Nice serve. Skip ball. That's about as much animation you'll get out of Mendez. <laughs> <laughs> but she's solid. She is solid. Doesn't miss many. Mendez, deep right. Kobe answers that cross-court pass attempt. 2-0, Canada. Great start, Gustavo. Canada needs to jump out quickly. As I said, I think the game is going to be played on the women's side of the court. That's where it's going to be decided. Wide angle, Kobe. Wow. Fantastic. Shot down the right side. Juliet. Baron. Baron. Three oh. Great communication. Up top. Hilson. A rare ceiling by Hilson. Good hands. Kobe. It, Kobe was there to cover, but his partner foul tipped that shot, so it's a point for Team Argentina. They're on the board. Tres uno. Wow. Hey, folks, that ball hit Juliet, but according to Munoz, the ball did not have an opportunity to reach the front wall, so it's a point for the serving team. Wow. Good hands. Baron not shying away at all from that power. Skipped it in. Yeah. You're absolutely accurate on that, my friend. By the way, it's, it's great to work with you. Here we are in the seventh feet of the day. And we'll be back at 10 a.m. in the morning. Quick hands, Kobe. Quick hands, quick feet. Gave himself space to snap a backhand winner. Second server, dos cinco. Oh, he skipped it in off the short hop. Sobre pique. He wants that one again, Gustavo. He certainly does. Tres cinco. Another unforced error. Much to the applause of Team Argentina. Gerson, 24 años. La familia lo está viendo desde Cochabamba. Su papá, su coach, Dubi. Le mandamos saludos aquí desde Guatemala, Guatemala. Cambio. La Copa Natalia, she got caught on her heels. Yeah. 
Seis sirviendo cuatro. Same serve, Re reverse Z. Great hands. Oh, nice. Near side backhand pinch attempt by Team Argentina. Responding Team Canada winner. Same left side pinch. Impressive so far for Team Canada, Gustavo. That was a beautiful shot by Kobe. Nobody there on the right side. Siete cuatro. Ball live, left side. Juliet handles it. Speaking of handling it. I'm impressed. Uh, Juliet has handled that power extremely well. Actually turned into an offensive shot. We've got a timeout here, the only one allowed for Team Argentina this game. One minute, let's stay here. We can kind of recap the day and where we're at, Gary. Yes, sir. We started out with singles. Four matches, two ladies, two men. Then we had a little break and continued with uh, ladies doubles, men's doubles, and now mixed doubles. And here we are, seven feeds. We'll do that again tomorrow, starting at 10 a.m. local time, which is Rocky Mountain time in the States. I should say Rocky Mountain daylight time. Ten teams, ten countries, if you will. About better part of 50 players overall. This is the 35th, we stand correct, the 35th edition of this tournament. Started in 1987 as the Torneo de las Americas, Tournament of the Americas. My first event was 1988 in Bolivia, and yours was about 2000 something. Yes, it was. Yeah, you played in the uh, 94 Worlds, did you not? I in did, Mexico? that was my first exposure to uh, world competition. Racquetball on the world stage, as you like to say, Gary. Yes, sir. We're back. Perron serving. Loose drive Z to the forehand. Great response by Mendez. Good timeout from Argentina, Gustavo. Yes, it was. Wow, great hands. She has not shied away from Miranda's power, that being Juliet. Should be avoidable hinder, failure to move. Yeah. Jen Saunders, the uh, iconic coach over here for Team Canada agrees it was an avoidable hinder. <laughs> Six, eight. Great response, Juliet. She's playing awesome on that right side. She is. That's the difference in the match thus far. Gerson's sister is watching. Su hermana, Daphne, mirando desde Cochabamba. Hola, Daphne. Hermana de Gerson, Miranda. Oh, nice, Kobe. Forehand, left corner rollout. Should be game point, no? Yes, it is. Game point number one here in first set. Nothing doing. <laughs> oh, Mendez unfazed. Drove it right in the right corner. Short, hit it harder, Jaime. So the Argentina staves off game point number one. Here's game point number two for Canada. Rack it up, rack it down. Oh, nice. So what happened there, folks? Yelson anticipated the forehand drive Z, and he poached. 
ran around his backhand and rolled it left corner. But he did not encroach. No, he did not. So it's two game points held off. Make that three game points. So if Argentina scores the next point, we go overtime in game one. 9-10. Mendez. Kobe. Wow. Set up center court. Kobe delivered. Congrats, Team Canada, on that game one. I can recap that. We're going to replay that last point so you can see it. But recapping game one, I want to say uh, Juliette definitely uh, showed us that she can play. Quick hands, Quick man. hands, responding to every powerful shot that Miranda threw at her. And actually, uh, we're going to recap this replay here as you see it come live, the final point. Kobe ended that game with a forehand rollout. Center right side. Court. Yeah. Beautiful. Nobody uh, there. He knew it. he had to make it, and he made it perfect. Yeah. Kudos to them because uh, Argentina... Inch back, got to nine. Yeah. So no overtime that game. When we return live, it'll be uh, Canada one game to zero over Argentina. So let's talk about uh, what's coming up on the IRF calendar. By the way, before we do that, let's thank the main sponsors for the IRF, known as the International Racquetball Federation, internationalracquetball.com. We have Gearbox official racket and ball for the IRF. We have the Sports Corporation of Colorado Springs, Colorado, promoting sports, it, sports administration uh, in that Colorado area. And that area is where the U.S. Racquetball Association and the IRF are housed. Yep. U.S. OC has most of their governing uh, sports, governing bodies there in Colorado Springs. And also uh, Splathead, garment uh, pro provider of the IRF. Thank you very much, Mr. Hall. So what's your opinion thus far? We've been, this is day number two out of eight, Gustavo. Well, we're gonna see a lot of play, a lot of the same players. I wonder how their bodies, their arms, their legs are going to be doing come day five, six of this turn tournament competition. It's uh, very demanding. And as you can see here, they go at it 100%. We're barely, these players are probably playing their third or fourth game of the tournament thus far, yeah. and they're going at it 110%. So they're going to be tired. They're going to be hurting come midweek. Three, some of these athletes, three different categories, could be up to 15, 15 games in one day. Wide angle. Kobe. Juliet, Juliet responding yeah. well. Oh, one of her few unforced errors. Right shot, right corner. Gracias, señor Miranda. Qué bien que le está gustando nuestra transmisión. Espero que se vea bien. Lo más importante. Mr. Calkins is watching as Hello. well. Hello, Senor Ray. King Calkins, California. Point Argentina, 2-1. Thank you for all your work, Keith, you and Keith, uh, Luke. Luke in Colorado Springs area. Looks like we're replaying that point. So Maria Paz calling the score 1-1. One, 1-1, one. Uno, uno. se repite. Up top. Oh. 
Over hit, forehand by Kobe. Not sure why he's running around that backhand, putting his back against the left side wall. He should probably take a backhand from the middle. Totally agree, he didn't have any shot there. Dos uno. Miranda sirviendo. Globo. De vuelta al techo. Oh, nice backhand, Mendez. We've mentioned this a few times in the last two days. Mendez favors her backhand, it's her better stroke. Not that her forehand is a liability, but her backhand is her strength, if you will. A lot of it has to do with how she holds her racket. Como agarra la raqueta. Frying pan grip. That's impressive. Power serve, deep angle off the vidrio and Kobe. No big deal, just I'll roll it out. Servicio Canada ahora. Juliet. Dos, tres. Set a la derecha. Miss hit, one of the rare ones from Yelson. Igual es tres. Keeps going to that forehand drive, Z to the right. Hand out. Kobe has an ability to, he's covering always thinking that if that ball gets past Juliet, he's gonna, yeah. he's gonna make a shot at it. And, right. and he almost did. It's like, it's like a right fielder backing up the center fielder yeah. or vice versa. And that's the first one I've seen where Yelson powered the ball to Juliet, she didn't handle it. I think we had some convergence, dead ball hinder first serve. Yes, it was. Number one concern, Gustavo, for our listening and viewing audience is safety on the court. Siempre, primeramente, la seguridad de los jugadores. Miscommunication there. And it cost Team Canada. So it's a side out point for Argentina coming in to serve. Cinco, tres. Best of five, first to win three sets. 11 points, rally scoring, win by two. Thus far in two days, Gustavo, the longest I've seen is 14-12. Yes, I have not had one longer than 14-12. Marcador, 6-4. Top, good clear by Juliet. Y por qué para? Digo, yeah. no era necesario yes. parar. No yeah. sé por qué paró. Es parte de, de juego. Claro. Yes. Interesante. Yeah. Voy so, a hacer el comentario, Gary. So the racket, que, the racket strings broke. You got to continue the rally. Point for Canada, and they earn the serve. Wow. Interesante que haya dejado de jugar ese punto porque las cuerdas se rompieron. Difícilmente en la pared derecha. He elected to stop. He didn't have to. That's the bottom line. He did not have to. 
Great serve. Kobe. Bien Gelson. For Gerson. Entran a servir 8-5. Want to welcome the Vizcarra brothers, hermanos Vizcarra from Bolivia, watching our feed, Gustavo. Handcuffed Kobe. So, time out on the floor. We'll have a minute break for live action. We'll stay here. So Guatemala City, about a million people. Guatemala country, close to 20 million, the largest population-wise country in Central America. Great place to visit, folks. Put it on your list. The cuisine here really is second to, second to nobody. Yeah, very good. Very diverse. A lot of different cultures here, a lot of different cuisines. We're in a very nice area in La Zona Diez. Lots of restaurants, walking distance. I'm confident a lot of people don't know we're at altitude. We're the better part of 5,000 feet up. So we're up around uh, the altitude of El Paso then. Correct. Yeah. Uh, close to Albuquerque. Mid-city Albuquerque is a mile high, but for some reason nobody calls Albuquerque the mile high city. That goes to Denver. But parts of Albuquerque, for those that care or don't care, I'm going to say it anyway, uh, if you're in the foothills, city limits, you're at 6,300 feet. And, and I, I do stand correct that El Paso in the mountain is 5,280 feet. Excellent. Mile High City again. about 4,000 feet where the city is itself. So we, returning to play here, it's 9-5 in favor of Argentina. They have a one-game deficit at 0-1 in favor of Canada. See you later. Suerte. Punto. Argentina. Qué bien que no le pegó. You, folks, in doubles, it's the last thing you want to do is get stuck on the wall. Jelson backhand near side pinch winner. Argentina 11. Canada Five, they even it up at one set each. Take it away, Gustavo. Esa vez vimos, ese juego vimos que se recuperó Argentina. El marcador 11-5. Eh, sacaron, lo sacaron a Kobe un poco de la jugada. Eh, vamos a repetir en la pantalla el último punto para que lo vean. Pero muchos de los tiros hacia Kobe era eh, hacia, la, hacia el cuerpo y no pudo este, extenderse para tirarlo bien. Ahí están viendo. We hope you're all watching the replay. Thank you, our producer, Jose. Muchas gracias. Estamos de vuelta con ustedes en 30 segundos. matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. And we're back live. Gary, Gustavo and Jose. I want to go to the calendar of the IRF events coming up this calendar year. Next one will be in July, end of July, 25 through 28. Julio in Chicago area. Lombard, Illinois, 40th year for World Senior Racquetball. 
David Negretti is watching. Thank you, David. We appreciate your help, your support, and your wisdom, my friend. Sabiduria a Negretti. Then we'll be in August, first time since 96 World Championships in Texas in the USA. And then in December, we'll be back here for the IRF World Juniors. Empezamos el tercer set, sirviendo Argentina, 0-0. Ball down. Entró rápido Canadá ahí. Primer punto. Pivotal game here, Gustavo. Team that jumps out to a 2-1 lead. Relieves a little bit of pressure. 1-0, Canadá. Wide angle. Oh, my. Gelson. He wants that one back. Quiere Woody, ese... Woody, Woody Klaus. He's the only one that gets a mulligan. Quiere ese tiro de vuelta. <laughs> 2-0. Speaking of Woody, Gustavo, I think uh, he's planning on playing for Eritrea at the Worlds in Texas this year. Wow. Great gets. Rally ending shot by Yeltsin. Lindo, Muy amable. Lindo rally. Todos los jugadores. Aplauso. So here we have a, an official timeout for Kobe. 30 seconds to get a replacement racket. If he had to change his shirt, he has up to two minutes. He cannot talk to the coaches when he goes out. Simply go and get the equipment exchanged necessary. The only one that would require a timeout would be the glove if he needed to change that. Well put. Oh, nice. Loose Z by Kobe gave Jelson chance to end the rally, which he did. So it's 2-2, Argentina coming in to serve. Best of five rally scoring, first to 11, win by two. Up top, 19, 1970s ceiling exchange. Negretti, you were around then. Yes, he was. So, yes, we were. So, so were Gustavo and myself. Rich Wagner, Charlie Brumfield, Marty Hogan, 17-year-old back then. Oh, a little lazy on that, Kobe. Some great players back then at the beginning of our late 70s, early 80s, great years. Wow. <laughs> so she called a screen, second serve. Tres, tres. It's a great location for that serve. He hadn't done that before. Question is, was it a miss hit? I'm going to say no. That was a miss hit. Point for Argentina. Ventaja Argentina. Está tomando control Gerson. Juliet has to hold her position there. She's got to respect the wide angle, so it opened up front court, and Gerson produced a rally ending pitch. Punto. No le pegó Parón, pero fue por el otro. Kobe says he's held up. Should be in a safety hold up, but point awarded to Argentina. Kobe asking for an official timeout, which he gets to replace his racket. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Gustavo, the score is. 6-3, if I could comment on that one, Juliette did not swing because Kobe was in front of her. That obviously would not be an avoidable hinder. Well, safety on their safety part. Safety on their part, but it would be a point for the receiving team, and which she awarded. And it was. 
the nuances, the nichos of the game. Talked about little things that add up, like calling a timeout when you want to regain the momentum. Last game, like Kobe getting stuck along the right side wall, or left side wall, like Juliet not moving off that right side wall. Uh, things add up, my friend. So we appreciate, pre, excuse me, we appreciate everybody tuning in from around the world. Tomorrow we have one more day of the group competition. We'll, follow, we'll be followed by three days. The, the group competition leads to what is the uh, La Sembrada or Las Llaves, the uh, individual medal play, which will be on Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, and then the team competition Friday, Saturday. So we, we are in the second day today. We still have six days of competition. We'll be streaming every day. Uh, we hope you can join us when you have an opportunity. This is the last game today that we're watching. Usually every day we're ending with uh, mixed doubles of Correct. some type. And to show you how important mixed doubles is on the international stage, World Games, which will be in Chengdu, China next year, next summer, uh, the offerings will be singles for men, singles for women, and mixed doubles. No women's nor men's doubles. Interesting. So, resuming play, Argentina enjoys a four-point lead, 7-3 in game three. It's 1-1 in sets. Ball live. Not anymore. <laughs> right, right corner winner. Thank you for your comments. Dr. Calkins. Ocho tres. Ball live again. <laughs> Natalia from eight feet away from the front wall skips it in. Canada coming in to serve, 4-8. was a break for Canada. Reverse, nice great serve. serve. Nice serve. Wow. Beautiful and shot. Juliette Baron, much to the joy of Reno, his, her coach. Cinco ocho. As well as Evan Prichard. Ball was loose, came off the back. Welcome Tim Baghurst, our compatriot. It's a term he uses often. Thank you, Tim. Cinco nueve. Gelson. Too much potency on that one, Gustavo. So blink your eyes, we have game point for Argentina coming in to serve. Diez cinco, junto para el set. Argentina, para arriba, otra vez para arriba. Para arriba, a ver quién tira primero. There it is, patience. Skill set shown by Argentina there, putting the ball away. 11 to five, game number three. When we return, it'll be two sets to one in favor of Argentina. We have a two minute break. Estamos de vuelta con ustedes en dos minutos.
Aquí la salida doble por dos. Ya la sigue de la salida. Back in vivo live from Guatemala City. We want to recognize our coach of Bambino, Edwin Duran. Thank you, Edwin, for tuning in. We hope you come to Chicago in July, Julio 25 hasta 28, 40th year for the IRF World Senior Racquetball Championships. We're back here in Guatemala City, game number four. Serving is Juliet, right side player for Team Canada. One game deficit, Gustavo. Canada one, Argentina two sets. Surprising first game play by Canada was excellent. Particular Parron on the right side, handling all of the power that uh, Jettison could throw at her. That changed in games two and three as Jettison amped it up and Mendez did her part on that right side. Ill-advised shot by Mendez, but she got away with it. She does not back down. Oh, skipped it in. Didn't take that last half step, Gustavo. It cost her. She planted her feet too quickly. Made the assumption the ball was gonna come to her, it didn't. Thank you, Edwin. Buena transmisión. Espero que se escuche bien. Dos cero. Pidiendo que entre Mantenimiento para secar el piso, la duela, que si hace calor acá, hay más de 32 grados centígrados, más de 90 Fahrenheit. Y obviamente el último partido del día, la cancha va a estar un poco más mojada, más caliente. Seguimos. 2-0, Argentina. Fourth set, 2-1 in favor of Argentina. Kobe, fist pump. So that informal timeout, Canada took advantage of it. They certainly hand, did. Out, hand out and a point. Rally scoring. Segundo servidor, 2-1. Pelota corta. Amp it up, Jaime. Second serve, short hop, miss hit. Oh wow, great shot. Wide angle pass, front wall, just right of center, side wall at about the receiving line. It takes its second bounce, deep court. What is it being the vuelta? No entiendo por qué salió Gerson de la cancha. Se va a cam cambiar la camiseta, creo. Good call. Remember, folks. Sí. Safety on the court is our number one concern. Thank you, the empleados here. Safe and fair environment. 
It's in the rule book, folks. Internationalracquetball.com. Print out a set of the rules. English is the official language. We have Miss uh, Robin Willemitis watching from El Paso, Texas. Hello, Thank you for Bertie. joining us. Glad you could tune in. I understand uh, you're getting your certificate to teach pickleball. Congratulations. Todos. Safety hold up. She, looks like she cleared. Se that, that, that's a gift from our perspective. She, she got stuck, but she got she cleared. Nevertheless, Maria Pascal is an avoidable point for Canada. Wow. <laughs> Just that she got that back was impressive against that Absolutely. wallpaper ball. Iguales tres. Kobe. Kobe again. Kobe again, near side, backhand, pinch winner. So Kobe's amping it up here in the game four. They have to, he and his partner, Juliet, they have to win to force a tie break. Mendez, Kobe, Gelson. Not Opa. sure what he was doing Peligroso. there. Cancha mojada. Yeah, but ill-advised shot. Deep court taking over his head, trying to do something offensive. It cost him. Cinco tres, sirviendo Iwasa de Canadá. Piso, parte de. Thank you for the cumpleaños wish, Robin. That's my third birthday of this year. Seis tres. Kobe. Tomando control. Iwasa. Tiempo, Argentina. Yeah. Regresamos con ustedes en un minuto. Ida y vuelta, the waves of the match. Up and down, up and down. My Canada. name is Andre Parrilla, and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that Everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family, and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. Gary, Gustavo, and Jose, we're back live in Guatemala City. You're watching set number four, mixed doubles. On the world stage, Canada serving to Argentina. Canada one set, Argentina two, yet Canada leads game four, seven three. Mendez up top, Juliet up top. Mendez up top, miss hit, Juliet. Great shot, Juliet. We have viewer from Spain, Rod Reed. Glad you're enjoying our streaming. International racquetball, world stage, 35th Pan Am Racquetball Championships, Guatemala City, Guatemala. Ocho tres. Good cover. Opa, opa, oh. opa, opa. Dead ball hinder, first serve. Great etiquette from both sides, Gustavo. I think sometimes, though, one has to be very careful because, yes, the players have, both of them have a right to go to the ball when it's their turn, but 
with safety first. Some wow. care has to be taken, exerted. Oh my, mulligan time, doesn't get it. That was a great serve. Set up on the return and Juliet skipped it in, opening for Argentina. Cuatro ocho. Left side, Jelson. Wide angle. Up That's, top. That time he did turn around, you saw that Kobe took the backhand. Ball live, folks. Whoa, until Kobe with the forehand. Obviously, he prefers the forehand when available. Cuando disponible. And he rolls the ball out in the left corner. And now that's point nine for Canada. Thank you, empleado. Just to comment here, one of the things that becomes dangerous, and I'm sure, sure the floor is wet, but as the rally continues, it can become a very dangerous situation. It can. As we saw there, especially with Gerson diving all over the place and Kobe trying to capitalize on the fact that Gerson was down, and he did on that last shot. Yeah. And... Uh, Maria Paz can, can, C-A-N, mandate that players change their shirts. Cuatro nueve. Servicio Argentina. Yeah. Segundo servicio. Fault serve called, second serve. <laughs> we want to thank our viewing audience from all over the world. Up top. <laughs> Impressive. Juliet on that right side. That was a great get by Jetison, and she just put it right back at him and couldn't get that one. Unfazed, Juliet. Game point number one for Team Canada here in game four. It seems appropriate that they'll put this to rest and have the last match of the game of the day be a tie break. Quick hands. Oh my, double digit rally in favor of Argentina. They stave off game point number one. Cinco so. sirviendo diez. Segundo servicio, Canadá. Once again, folks, rally scoring. First to 11. Argentina needs to get five more points in Seguida consecutively to force a tie uh, uh, overtime. <laughs> Well, Great shot, Mendes. Now it's four, four points in a row. Yeah, you're right. Unfazed. Kobe doesn't like the ceiling. He does not. And uh, he closes out the fourth game when we come back. We we'll have a two-minute break between this set and the next. We'll have a tie break, first to 11, win by two here in Guatemala City. Take it away, Gustavo. Uh, okay. Making sure they go in and dry the court for this last and final game here in set number, in our, what, game number seven of our streaming. Match, match seven of streaming, eight court hours eight assigned court hours. today. First court hour at 10, last court hour at 4. And that's Rocky Mountain, daylight time in the States. That's local time here in Guatemala City, the capital. So uh, thank you so much, Jose, Jose, for your skills. Pablo, 
Pablo is multitasking this uh, this tournament. He's the head U.S. team coach. And, and also uh, with the help of Rafael Gatica, who uh, stepped in, and yes, also he did. as one of the players, he's talk uh, about done a multitasking. Great job. He had a great match, five sets today in singles. He came out on the losing end, but boy, what a match! Yeah, it was very good. Charlie Pratt came out victorious on that one, but either one could have won that that match. So speaking of coaches, Quadri, Argentina's reviewing game plan. For Set number five with his players, and Reno and uh, Evan are reviewing the game plan with Team Canada. Shout out to uh, Michel Gagnon, uh, Team Canada. He's back in Canada. Hello, Michel. We miss you, my friend. Thank you, everybody who's commenting on our feeds, literally from around the world. We have our friend now, Eder Renteria from Ciudad Juarez, that's watching. His brother was watching a little bit earlier. We'll see him in December here. For sure. There's another gentleman that's somewhat nonchalant in his style of play. A powerful nonchalantness. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Gustavo, I owe, you, I owe you not one, not three, but two cervezas tonight. Si, senor, y no me voy no me voy a olvidar. Bueno, empecemos. I want to thank Osvaldo Maggi and his team from Argentina. Uh, Mesa de Control. Danny is one of our uh, 10 officials. And here we go. First to 11, win by two. Telson serving for Argentina. Gran Saki. Mel See? West, Arizona. Thank you, Mel. Speaking of feeds, tomorrow we'll have seven feeds starting at 10 a.m. We don't have the calendar yet. That's determined by the Pan Am group. But this is the last feed for today. Thank you for tuning in, buddy. Hopefully uh, we'll see you this year and hope you're well. Whoa. Misdirect. Le dio evitable. Evitable. Preguntando. Doesn't matter. The rule states it's a bloqueo. Like it or not, Kane, <laughs> it's a bloqueo. 2-0, Canadá. No importó lo que dijo Méndez al árbitro. Straight up, straight down ball. You don't see that in the rule book, but that's a <laughs> miss hit. That's the first I see her do that. A little bit late on that racket prep. Nice, Jelson covered. Poaches, front side right, pinches. So, empate dos iguales, Gustavo. Iguales dos, servicio de Miranda, seguramente un servicio fuerte hacia el cristal enfrente de nosotros. My miss hit. Ran around the backhand again, put himself into the left side wall. We've seen him do that a few times today. I'd like to point out that's the reason why you have the tether on the and has to be worn on the racket. That racket came flying out of his hand. Absolutely. Didn't Great. go anywhere. Great call. Skip ball. Kobe tried to end the rally, right side, near side pinch. We call it with the forehand. 4-2. Otra vez, seguramente servicio fuerte acá, frente de nosotros, el cristal. A ver cómo responde Kobe. So, that's an official timeout. Gafas, the eyewear, is a required piece of equipment. So, 
he needs to repair or replace, he's entitled to do so. 4-2. She, she called a uh, she called a court hinder, I believe. Unfair bounce, and because of that, it hit the Argentinian player. So she's explaining that the ball hit the seam between the back glass and the door where they meet. Junction, if you are in Ireland. And the Canadian team is saying it just hit the back glass and it came off. Right, but you can't appeal it. Correct. Point. Kobe's trying to force that return now. Timeout, Canada. So they they don't have any more timeouts in this match, Gustavo. And unless you're uh, Cheshire or uh, Tom Travers, you can't save them for yet, uh, tomorrow. They would be no good tomorrow. <laughs> no value. Sin valor. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll stay here, Jose. Getting punch drunk here. This is the seventh feed today. Yeah, we've had uh, one too many, I think, Gary. Bienvenido, Senor Diego. Mucho gusto verte. Felicidades. So again, on the IRF calendar coming up, July, 40 years for World Seniors under the IRF banner in Chicago this year. It's moving out of New Mexico for various reasons. And uh, thank you, National Masters Racquetball, Cindy Tilbury. We're co-oping our efforts. We anticipate a good draw, literally from around the world. Uh, then followed by San Antonio, Texas, 23 through 31 August. Yep. The IRF World Championships, which is a biannual event. First time since 1996 it'll be in the States. Followed by, I believe, the first week and week of December here for the IRF Junior Worlds, which is an annual event. It'll be early December. Correct. Which is trying to match up with a lot of the kids and their vacation. And we had a draw in Tarija of 310 players. Uh, we're not going to get that many here in Guatemala, but we anticipate well over 200. Cinco dos. Sirviendo Miranda de Argentina. Oh, my. Ahora ahí, That's a point for the receiving team. Avoidable hinder. Evitable. Sí, sí. It's, a, blo it's a bloqueo. No importa, doesn't matter. No importa que saltó, puede, tiene que saltar más alto todavía. Este, directamente frente de Kobe a la pared. Evitable, punto. Canadá, segundo servidor. Argentina, 5-3. Buen servicio de Méndez. Wow, same side wide angle, Joe Shattuck pass on that right side wall, rally ending shot. Joe, I hope you're watching. Gran punto ahí para Canadá, 5-4, 4-5 sirviendo Canadá. Just what the doctor ordered, Gustavo. Tie break. Last match of the day. Kobe. Ball kissed the glass deep court and died. Great shot. And again, we're all he ran tied up. It. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Again, he ran around his backhand. But he obviously enjoys that forehand from the deep left side of the court. Speaking of court, here we go. The empleados cleaning it. Safe and fair environment. So we'll be back live in a minute. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's uh, 
everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys you don't. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Pan American Sports Channel, IRF Networks. We're, we have a treat here. Fifth set, tie break, last match of the day. 5-5, five, five. mixed doubles. Juliette Perron. Kobe Iwasa. Ball live. Gelson Miranda. Oh my, unfortunate. She didn't track that ball, Gustavo. She got caught right side. Against the wall, yeah. trying to get away from it. Point Argentina. Segundo servidor de Canadá. Seis, cinco, seis. Kobe. Hit it harder, Jaime. Pelota corta. <laughs> Segundo servicio. He's going with the power serve here, second serve. Good call. He jams it. Wide angle. Wide angle again. Oh, nice. Julia Perron. Steps in, pinches it in the corner. A definir. Seis, seis. Lindo punto. Yellowstone <laughs> kills it. Again, rally scoring. Earns a point and the serve. 7-6 Argentina, first to 11. Win by two. Will we go overtime here in the fifth set? Miscommunication. Kobe's got to take that one. He does, yeah. he got to keep following it. Come around. Mendes had cleared off the wall. Exactly. Let him take it. And that's communication. Mendes knew what he was doing. Does it again. Skip in. Pressure on Canada now. Two points from the match. Team Argentina. You can hear the score in the background from Munoz, our head official, 9-6. Quadri. Long serve. The ball has to bounce before it hits the back wall, folks. It's a fault serve, second serve. Two serves in racquetball. Usually, unless you really screw up, <laughs> you don't get a second serve. <laughs> like hitting the floor first, you don't get a second serve. Or hitting the ceiling first. Correct. All right. Mendez now serving. Not over till it's over, Gary. I'm with you, Yogi. Nueve siete. Reverse. Oh, my. Match point number one, Argentina. Diez sirviendo siete. Same serve. Live ball, Mendez. Set up. And there it is. Reverse pinch winner. Team Argentina over Team Canada. Three sets to two, specifically 11-6 in that fifth set tiebreaker. Take it away, Gustavo. We'll see you all tomorrow. 10 Gracias a todos, nuestra audiencia, por haber estado con nosotros este día número dos aquí en este, Guatemala, Guatemala. Contento de estar con ustedes. Mañana seguimos transmitiendo. Pensamos empezar a las 10 de la mañana, esperando que nos acompañen de vuelta. Despidiéndonos ahora, yo, su servidor Gustavo Farel. José Cruz, Gary Mazarov, hasta mañana. Gracias.